Welcome back. I'm Ezra Levant. A Canadian Forces manual says Israel might have committed war crimes in a 2006 military operation in the Gaza Strip. The manual states, quote, indiscriminate harassing fire from Israeli artillery killed seven members of one family, including both parents and five siblings, unquote. The document itself was overseen by Andrew Leslie, who was then the chief of land staff. He's now an advisor to liberal leader Justin Trudeau and hopes to run for the liberals himself in an Ottawa riding in 2015. Colonel Michel Drapeau is a retired member of the Canadian Armed Forces and a lawyer who joins us now from Ottawa. Colonel Drapeau, welcome to the program. Tell us a little bit about this manual, this doctrine, this military doctrine document. What yeah, would it be for? Yeah, it's a fairly recent phenomenon. We didn't have this when I uh, was serving. Uh, it's something we imported from the States. And the doctrine is the foundation of all the tactics, the procedures, uh, and it's a teaching document and basically tells the officer corps how to act and what position to take in, uh, in, in, uh, in a case of a specific, uh, uh, in, in this case, counterinsurgency, what ought to be the guiding principles. So it is, in fact, a, you know, a, a sort of a constitution as to how to do battle, how to do military operations. So it is significant because from it flows the lessons from which show the various teachings from which flows what attitude to take by uh, by officers in the conduct of operations. Mm, isn't that interesting? Well, this seems uh, to be full of uh, strong opinion. Now, obviously, if you're, if you're trying to teach a doctrine uh, th that has strong views, right and wrong, does this sound like it was a little political flourish? Like, it's, it seems unusual to have a fairly conclusive statement that it was indiscriminate firing. I mean, that sounds like a conclusion that was made, although I don't know of any you know, hearing into the matter. It sounds like it it was stuck in there. Like, I, I can't imagine that a doctrine manual would be full of casual opinions like that. Does it sound unusual to you? Very unusual. I would not have given it my imprimatur, but General Leslie did. I could see, for instance, the, the doctrine manuals could have a discussion on the principle of wars. These principle of wars go back to 5,000 years. And to illustrate one of these, like the principle of our surprise, you may be able to draw on military history and back a couple hundred years or even more and, and, and cite the lessons learned from a specific battle. That would be okay because it will illustrate the point. History has been able, in fact, to, to come up with a value judgment as to, as to whether or not surprise was achieved or, or uh, fail the combatants in this case. But in the case at hand, uh, this is a very value... A value, a value judgment made without any any foundation that I know of. It's a political statement, most certainly, and I think it's totally out of place into a doctrinal document because it refers to something that is very contemporary, very politicized, and very controversial. And 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 I don't think history has set its mind on it as whether or not the alleged action by the Israelis were effectively harassing, were effectively indiscriminate. It's an opinion. That's all it is. An opinion made by a journalist of all things. So the opinion may be fair, but that's all it is. It is certainly not a point of departure, a doctrinal point, mm -hmm. which this document does. Isn't that a, an interesting point? I mean, it, it's that battle that was referred to there just not even 10 years ago could be said to be part of a, an ongoing war between Israel and its terrorist uh, 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 enemies. So to comment on that is really, like you say, a political commentary more than a, a, a particular lesson learned. I mean, as you say, you can go back thousands of years for for things that are better known, better judged, and certainly wouldn't have a political impact. Now, General Leslie, let me uh, say what he said. He said that although he did approve the document, that wasn't his personal view. I, I don't have his exact words there. Do you think he would have skimmed this? Like, how carefully would a general go through line by line a big book like this? Would he just rubber stamp it, or do you think he would really own every word in it? Yeah, this is command the responsibility at his best in here. He put his own premature on it, so he is in, uh, responsible, and he wants people who are going to be reading it, people are going to be learning from it, people are going to be applying to their teachings to understand that your chief of the land staff, Lieutenant General Andrew Wesley, blessed this document mm -hmm. as if it came from his pen, it came from his mouth. Uh. So it's, it's too late for him now to repudiate some aspect of it. Uh. He may not have read it all. That's a choice that he would have to make and accepted uh, basically blind. I certainly will not. A document of this importance, which will shape minds and shape 
uh, doctrine for years to come and teachings and so on, you want to make sure that it, it's correct, it's exact, and in fact, it, it is a, a, a manifestation of your, of your doctrinal view as to how land forces ought to be used in the 21st century. Isn't that interesting? Colonel Drapeau, I'm so grateful to you for your expertise and your, uh, your views on this. Thank you for joining Thank us you. today on The Source. More Source after the break. believe the propaganda marching through the streets of New York City at the Muslim Day Parade just days after the 9-11 anniversary. So much for multiculturalism. Drag you and your people into another bloody and unwinnable war. Tracking down the Islamic State, the terrorists are in the middle of the desert, but is it possible to pinpoint their location from their snuff videos? 